Hey everyone, it's Marcello here from the Toyota World YouTube channel and I'm inside of a brand new 2024 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid XLE. This is the most popular compact SUV on the market, specifically with Toyota as well. One of the most high demand hybrid SUVs that we currently have in exactly this model, the XLE. A lot of customers and viewers were hoping for a redesign in 2024. We didn't see it. And now we're hoping for a next generation Toyota RAV4 to come for 2025. But there's been some speculation and some YouTubers actually sharing information and videos as to the possibility of the Toyota RAV4 hybrid being redesigned in 2026. That means you're well over a year uh, from now until you can see hear or know anything concrete about a next generation RAV4. Can that be possible? Now, before I go any further, do yourself a favor and subscribe to the channel. I've been with Toyota now here at Maple Toyota for 15 plus years. So to catch the coolest content and constant content of your favorite Toyota vehicles, hit the subscribe button. Let's continue with this video review. One of the content creators on YouTube recently shared a video that the 2026 Toyota RAV4, RAV4 Hybrid, RAV4 Prime will be a game changer. 2026, not 2025. So can there be the possibility that the all new RAV4 will not come for 2025 and you'll have to wait over a year until we see or hear anything concrete of any redesigned Toyota RAV4. Let's talk about this just ahead in this video. All right, so a little bit over a week ago, our buddy Kirk Kreefels, hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Um, Kirk recently reviewed the possibility of a new Toyota RAV4 coming for 2026 and not 2025. He also shared his thoughts and ideas of possibly what could happen and what could take place and yes, as I've confirmed, Kirk Creefields also confirmed that there is no concrete information yet from Toyota with regards to any kind of redesign of any matter, whether it's 2025 or 2026. So these are all right now speculations and rumors, but the title of his video was the all new 2026 Toyota RAV4 will be a game changer. I'm gonna put a link to the video uh, in the description below. You can check it out after watching this one, but let's talk more about this. Now, first for the next generation redesigned Toyota RAV4, let's talk about styling and design. So I agree with the reference that he made, um, and that is that there can be one of two ways that the Toyota RAV4 will go in terms of styling and design. One is the boxy, uh, you know, sharp edge look that you could say maybe the Land Cruiser currently has the new Land Cruiser, of course, that's coming out. Um, and then the other design is something of like the Hammerhead style, which we've been seeing on the new Prius, um, the all new 2025 Camry. It's kind of got those uniquely shaped, sleek uh, Hammerhead style, you can call it uh, front end and design. Uh, I potentially agree with Kirk that I think the all new RAV4 when it gets redesigned for 2025 or 2026 will take more of a form of the boxier format something like what the Land Cruiser currently illustrates what do you guys think about that let me know in the comments below you're seeing that a lot now with manufacturers they're going a little bit back to the straight edge uh, sharper line boxier style designs with some models in their lineup I mean look at what just happened with the Hyundai Santa Fe redesign they went from the sleek, um, you know, silhouette style Santa Fe to something that's very different looking. I must say it looks fantastic. Uh, but let's continue on with this RAV4. As Kirk had mentioned, we're not expecting anything too crazy when it comes to the interior uh, redesign trim. Maybe a couple of more options uh, for interior color trim color and so on you know standard 10 to 12 inch screen potentially no more eight inch uh, size screens or even nine inch size sc size screens that'd be something really cool to see for the next gen RAV4 
Now here's something that I thought was a really cool idea. And I might have actually mentioned this in one of my other videos before, uh, but what about the possibility of a few things? The RAV4 not coming in a non-hybrid. I've talked about that before. That's a possibility. Look what happened with the redesigned 2025 Toyota Camry. It is no longer available in non-hybrid right now, at least for Canada, North America's sake. Um, what about the fact of that happening on the RAV4s, hybrid only? You've got the plug-in hybrid, which is the RAV4 Prime. There is talk about uh, more options being available when you're wanting to go with the RAV4 Prime in terms of trims and models. Right now we have three to choose from, SE, XSE, and XSE technology package, whereas on the RAV4 and RAV4 Hybrid, you have somewhere around eight or nine different models to choose from. Uh, so it'd be great to open up the options on the RAV4 Prime. But one more interesting fact, what about the possibility of an all electric Toyota RAV4? That's right not hybrid, not combustion, not prime, all electric, similar to that of the BZ4X. Wow. Now there's also talks of the possibility of the all new RAV4 having something like the digital key available, something like what's currently on the Grand Highlander Platinums. Um, there's also been talk, and I've heard about this before uh, from other sources, and this is the first time I've seen someone on YouTube talk about it, which is Kirk. And that's with regards to the latest, newest software that Toyota is apparently working on. It may debut in something like the all new next generation Toyota RAV4. And what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about next generation software, not multimedia in terms of your wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, I'm talking about complete vehicle software. So similar to that of your Apple iPhone, let's say whenever there is an improvement or a bug fix or an update that needs to happen, it happens live over the air from your software account, I guess. I mean, like I said, there's nothing concrete about this. This is all speculation at this point, but I have heard about this in the past from others and I, for the first time, heard about it on YouTube from Mr. Kirk Creefill. So pretty cool stuff if that is the case. Now that I potentially have you all a little bit sad that perhaps there's a possibility that the all new RAV4 won't come until 2026, um, let's say this. Right now we are towards the end of 2023. Uh, if we did have something to see for 2025 of the all new RAV4 in terms of a new generation, we'd probably hear about it in about, I would say, five to six months, maybe eight months at the max from Toyota, um, maybe even earlier. I mean, look what they did with the all-new Camry. We heard, we heard about it over a month ago, and we're still in 2023, and that model is a 2025. So, uh, pin your feet to the ground and stay tuned to the channel. Stay tuned. Uh, to what Toyota has to say with regards to the next generation RAV4. Yeah, I guess maybe Kirk has a point. Maybe it won't come in 2025. Maybe it will be in 2026. We'll catch you in the next video and review. Take care. Bye for now.